All right, guys, today we're going to put together the Charbro Performance 4 burner. Uh, this one has a side shelf, and it's 2582843. First thing you're going to do, get it out of the box. Alrighty, and one thing you'll notice with these charbroils is that everything's labeled firebox steps 9 through 10, assembly tray or grease tray 22, cart 1 through 8. That's where we're going to be starting. And for this, we're going to need the bees. So there's 26 bees here. You pull out your first 13. Legs out one through four. And we'll start by putting them in arms. Now the top ones have the little peg here. Of course, the one with the chain goes on number two, not on four. And the bottom ones don't have the thing. Now the one that goes on two has your chain. For your match holder. And then the bottom part of two has these notches in it to hold your propane tanks. I gotta take number two, flip her over, and attach it to the number one. Take that, put it on to your right side here. You're gonna put your bar in there so you don't forget to add it. And you're gonna grab the rest of your beads. But well, you're only gonna need four of them. Now. Sorry, grab the rest. Flip four over and put it on three. Make sure you get that bar lined up into that hole there. Four and three over to the side. 
You want as much room between these two guys as you can get. And put the rest of your bees on the on the table there just to get them out of the way. And the next screw we're going to need is A. And there's four holes here. You're going to go ahead and put your screw in the, the top hole and the third one down on both sides. Not all the way in, just barely in. Faces here. Now the bottom one has this little flame emblem on it, so that flame goes in the bottom corner. Slide them over the screws you already put in, and then put the other screws in. The two holes you skipped. And tighten it. Tighten it as well. Do the same thing with the other one. Oopsie. Now you're going to take your foot pegs here, uh, the big one goes in the, up the top one here, just slam it in there, and then the thin square one goes in the front of the unit, which would be the bottom one. But you're going to need B, C, and E for that. Take your little peg rod here thing, slide it up in there. Take the fatter of the two washers. And then cone side down, followed by a flat washer, and then your cutter pit. Which surprisingly can be a little bit more difficult to get in there than it should. Flip around our side and put the other one in as well. Take your propane holder and you're going to want this to be up towards the top facing in. Put it in the holes, rotate her in so she sits there nice and easy. Alright, you're going to grab the rest of your bead and just like the other side, top hole and third hole down, both sides. Yeah. Where did I put?
put those. I'm not going to grab them out of the box yet. Cross sides, there's a pull of the screw, both the sides. And then fill the holes you left open. Tighten the original four. <laughs> now, normally these have a heat shield. If they have a heat shield, sometimes I do. This one doesn't because the grease pan is the heat shield on this one. That's the new one. Uh, Oh, this doesn't even have the hole for the heat shield. The heat shield will go on the side with the propane holder. It will tack up in there with your other two beads. Okay, no heat shield. The grease pan is the heat shield. So you got two things left for the perk, and that's G and F. And they give you two of each. But you only need. One of each. Slide that in right in there. And take your screw through the hole and get your nut right up underneath of it. Get a finger tight. Throw your extras off to the side. Or throw them away. You don't need them. You got that in there. Cart's done. And underneath the firebox, you're gonna either undo or snip the twisties. You'll be able to get this pulled out. I just snipped that one wrong spot. And you take this, twist it out in the way. Now you're going to sit, pick her up and put her on the cart. Now for the card assembly, you got four Bs, two H. That's it. That's a firebox assembly. I hope that's a firebox assembly. Go ahead and get all of them out. All right. So you notice these tabs in the legs. You got to line them up so that these holes. All right, there in line with them. You take your bees and get them right in there. And then you do the same thing for the other side.
Now for the two inches, you're going to take your handle. Put your inch up there. And start it with your finger. Then just tighten them down. We don't need this trash anymore. And onto the shelf assembly, we need the A's. And your little guys right here. Two A's go in here. Screw hole, screw hole. The back side of this goes to the back side of this, closest to the screw holes. That way you can tell which one goes on which side. Do the same thing with the other one. Side burn, burner side, and this is going to go on here, and then there's a hole in the front that's going to slide right on top of this other one over here. Pretty simple. Now let me move the camera a little bit so I can see, make sure I'm seeing the right stuff. Got a hole here, and a hole way up here. And we gotta put the other two, two of the other A's in. And with those in there, then you tighten down the other two screws that you hung the shelf on. We're gonna do the same for the other side. Side burner side. For this point, for part, it's the same as the other side was. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and get K for the nut and L, your clippy, out because you're gonna need them for this step. Uh, you can take your igniter box, and you're gonna take the button off, and then you're gonna take this retention nut, I think, off. Pull the wire that's already there, attach it into the back pin. Slide this up in here and through the hole. Take the retention nut and get it on there. Take your battery. Battery in, positive side towards sticking out, and put your button on. For the knob, undo, take the two screws off. And then twist it up in to where it sits nice and neat and pretty. It's not going to stay in place yet, but we'll get it there. You take your face plate for your knob, put your screw, one screw in the side. Uh, this is the top, so one on the side over here. Set it over there, put it through the hole, get your bit on it, and then line up the back, which is hard to 
juicy. Once you start it, then you put it in the other hole. Then just tighten it down. Now from the back side here, you're going to take your wire, you're going to attach it to the other hole, the other peg in the back of this, and make sure it goes over top of this loop. Take your burner, open up the side, slide it in through here, but line it up so that the end comes right on top of here. Then you worry about making sure that this comes down the hole, and then the screw comes down the other hole. Take your wing nut up here and get it on. Take your other end of your wire and attach it right there. Oops. Now your little clip is going to hold it in place. So you're going to take it up here and put it through one of these holes. Turn it around and clip her over top of this. Side burner's done. Okay, for this next part, you're gonna need B and J. Kind of a shelf assembly section. J's are gonna be your washers. And B's are gonna be your screws. Match. One washer, one screw, six times. <clears throat> now, there are three holes on this side. And three holes on the other side. One goes in each hole. assembly left, which is designated as A, and there's four of those, you can see my pack is empty. Take a grease tray, put the lip side, 
get your A's in your hand and you're going to push this in you want this you're facing the hook in right here okay you don't want to do it that way because that's not going to hold the tray you want it this way so that the tray can slide right up in that groove Now just line them up, finger tight, not even finger tight yet. Just get them started. Tighten them down, and she should look like that. And for demonstration purposes, your grease cut. I'm holding it at an angle, I'm sorry. The grease cup's going to go right in there. That's it. Okay, you want that lip here? Hey, how you doing, boss? Looking for a table. You need a table? 